Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, let us begin this new week with the grace and blessings of God. The liturgy of the Word of God today invites us to learn how to handle human rejection. In the first reading we see that the compassion, the grace of God is not limited to his own people, people of Israel, but to everyone who seeks him with a sincere heart. Naaman the Syrian who comes in humility to the prophet of God is healed of his leprosy because he obeyed the prophet, the voice of God. The same element the Lord speaks to his own people in Nazareth in his first homily that the mercy of God, the compassion of God is boundless, it, ex it extends to everyone. But people who wanted to have the prerogative of God for their own self, that we are people of God, therefore God is our own, therefore God does what we speak with such a mentality, people were not happy to listen to such words. And the Lord did not hesitate to not to speak the word because people may not like it. He spoke because that is what his father wanted to tell him. Therefore, we see time and again Jesus entering into conflict with Pharisees, Sadducees and his people because his words of truth and justice unsettled their minds. Therefore, in today's gospel they wanted to do with Jesus. But the Lord went through their midst. My dear friends, Often time you may be worried what will people speak if I speak the truth. That is none of our concern. We must only worry about what will the Father, what will the Heavenly Father will think if I do not speak or live the way that He expects of me. Because for each one of us, God has a plan and has a purpose. And if we do not fulfill that plan and purpose of God, if we live according to our own purpose, our own goal, then during the time of judgment, the picture that God has for each one of us may not match with the way we have lived. Therefore, we need to bear the consequences of it. Let us then pray for the grace of courage and strength to speak in truth and to live in integrity. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.